Evan, how is the state of New York now preparing for the Monday deadline when Trump is under orders to come up with that nearly $500 million bond? New York Attorney General Letitia James is sitting at home right now staring in her bathroom mirror and practicing some lines that I think are close to something like this. Put the uh, Duke Brothers seats on the exchange up for sale at once. Seize all assets of Duke and Duke commodities brokers, as well as all personal holdings of Randolph and Mortimer Duke. And the reason why I can say I'm very confident in what she's practicing right now, because Donald Trump and his lawyers went to the judge last week and pretty much said something like this. You know perfectly well we don't have $394 million in cash. What further lets me know New York Attorney General Letitia James is on her business is because she did this last week in preparation for tomorrow. The first action that we've seen taking place is in Westchester County, New York, where uh, the state of New York, the attorney general there, ha has already entered that judgment, which is one of the initial steps that they have to take should the former president not be able to come up with the bond by that deadline of Monday. And at the same time he's worried about his businesses, he also has to worry about his campaign because the RNC and Trump Save America PAC and all his other entities where he's trying to get money, they're not making any. Trump's campaign and joint fundraising committee raised a combined $20.3 million in February, ending the month with $41.9 million in the bank. While an increase from January, the numbers lag behind Biden's, whose political operation raised $53 million last month and ended February with $155 million cash on hand. And I know Trump is sitting around looking at those finances and saying, Fuck him! And I combined these two news reports for a reason. I combined them because Donald Trump needs money, and the only way he can get money is through campaign donations. So he's teamed up with the RNC to where he gets the money that's collected first. Fascinating. So, Maggie, you just reported that Trump's new shared fundraising agreement with the RNC directs a portion of donations be used to pay his legal bills. Mm -hmm. So technically that's true, and credit where it's due, the Associated Press had that story before Shane Goldmacher and I did. Technically it is not going uh, to the Republican National Committee to pay his legal fees, but the way that it works with this joint fundraising agreement that he has signed with the National Party and then with a bunch of state parties, along with his campaign and along with Save America, the political action committee that's been paying for these legal fees, is first a portion goes to the campaign, then $5,000 to Save America, and then after that, money to the Republican National Committee and then the state com party committees and so forth. $5,000 is, is the maximum that can go to Save America, which is at the moment headed to run very low on funds by the end of spring. So technically it's true, the RNC is not paying his legal bills, but there is a portion of this fundraising that is going to go to Save America, which has been paying his legal bills. All right, explain this to me like I'm a two-year-old, okay? Because there's an element to this thing. I just cannot get through my thick head. Don't worry about it, Denzel. I got you. If you give your money to anything, Save America Pack, Trump campaign, the RNC, even if you are totally MAGA and won't give to the RNC at all, and you give to your state, local campaigns, that money gets pulled up. Trump gets the first pot to go to his campaign. The second pot goes to Save America Pack. The $5,000 she was talking about, that goes to pay his lawyer fees. Anything else goes to the RNC. The RNC money then goes out to other campaigns, local, state, federal, to get those candidates into their positions. The RNC money don't go to pay for his campaign, but everything else did. <laughs> and don't forget, he put his daughter-in-law at number two at the RNC. And guess what she said, that money going. If I am elected to this position, I can assure you there will not be any more $70,000 or whatever exorbitant amount of money it was spent mm -hmm. on flowers. Every single penny will go to the number one and the only job of the RNC. That is electing Donald J. Trump as president of the United States. And because he's out there hustling up your money to pay his legal bills, he hasn't been on the campaign trail. While former President Trump has largely stayed behind closed doors since clinching the Republican nomination, swapping rallies for donor meetings and the golf course. Trump has only visited one battleground state since Super Tuesday. In the same stretch of time, Biden has visited every top battleground state but one. What do you think?